Precipitation seems to be the theme for the month of June around Ohio. The counties that already had too much rain getting even more, the counties that had just enough getting too much, and the counties that maybe didn't get enough early on are now in that too much category as well. Coshocton County getting a lot of rain earlier this week. That's where the Ohio Agnet caught up with Bill Mullen of Seed Consultants, and Bill talked to us about what to look for and to do once the rain does subside. When we go ahead and start to bake this ground, Right, and we have that much water, we're depleting the oxygen from that corn plant. So we're basically we're doing is we're shutting off at the roots. The roots gotta recover to try to get away from all the saturated soil, start to grow, start to regenerate itself to get the plant growing again in that. With the saturated soils, one thing we need to keep in mind is did we lose any of our nitrogen? A lot of these people have in their programs as far as side dress and nitrogen. Um, you know, it was put on the last two to three weeks, maybe four weeks ago, and started to rain. And some people use the stabilizer, that will pay off this year especially. But for those people that haven't used, especially with, with 28%, it's probably going to be a good idea to go out there and maybe um, have the pre-side dress nitrate test uh, that can be run to determine how much nitrogen is still in the ground for the yield we're trying to get. Mullen said with the later planted corn, a different approach may be needed. With those plants there, we're seeing a lot of compaction, all right? We somehow we need to go ahead and break up that compaction. You know, if it's young enough, six to seven inches, we can go in there with like a toolbar or side dress machine just to go ahead and break up the compaction, get air down the root system. Mullen stresses the only way to really know what's going on in the field is to get out in it. Go out in your fields, walk your fields, look at those spots, all right, and start to determine. We're not gonna be doing anything for the stage of this plant right now where it's at. We're not gonna be able to do anything as far as spotting it back in. We gotta go ahead and manage and save everything we have right now to make it to harvest time. Of course, the soybeans may be underwater as well, but Mullen says not to drag the planter out quite yet. Wait until the water's gone with it, dries up, and we can take the hula hoop out there, take your tape measure out there, and just see what stand we have to work with in that. The university has shown this to be for the last past several years. At harvest time, if we have a stand of 95,000 plants, we're still going to have the potential for 55 bushel beans to the acre, even under these stresses that we're experiencing right now. That's Bill Mullen, Director of Agronomic Services with Seed Consultants Incorporated. For the Ohio Agnet, I'm Ty Higgins. We'll see you down the road.